going on guys uh we are finally uh level 80 here so that's uh that's really positive news uh slowly and steadily uh we have got there and now today uh we can finally start gearing up some of these characters and pushing uh, a lot of them to level 80 so we can uh, get started here with dark dimension 4 so let's uh take a quick look at my roster here uh we're just gonna jump out of here and go into my roster and as you guys can see here that uh, i tried to uh for the uh, purposes of uh, trying to make sure I was getting ready for level 80. I was trying to get most of these guys up higher on levels as well. Um, that and the fact that uh, Arena was becoming pretty competitive. Uh, a lot of people leveling them up and uh, the only way to stay competitive was to get some of these guys up. Anyhow, we have got Mr. Sinister up here first and uh, he's, uh, as you guys can see here, he's level 79. Great character, pretty much got everything T4'd, uh, ISO 8's on as well. And, um, and as you guys can see here, we're gonna quickly uh, take him to level um, 80 and then we are going to just jump him up to 15. We do have the mats. I've been keeping track on a spreadsheet and uh, and hopefully um, hopefully yeah, I know there's a lot of people getting close as well. Uh, just uh, a lot of people turning level 80. So that's pretty much let's see your jump in health, damage, armor, uh, focus, resistance, all that good stuff. Uh, pretty pretty substantial jump actually considering it's just one level but uh, you can see there's quite a bit of a difference. And now um, let's uh, take it up one more notch here and uh, we're going to push him up to level uh, tier 15 excuse me and uh, this is going to help bridge the first character we use and i know uh, for for a fact that everyone seems like uh you know dark dimension 4 is a bit easier but definitely one character you absolutely need for sure is mr sinister and let's see here decent jump in health damage doesn't uh, go up that much but still pretty decent size jump and it's going to help out in arena fights as well because he gets a massive plus in stats and uh, not to mention the fact that, uh, yeah, it's just going to help us out with Dark Dimension 4. So he's going to be our, one of our starting characters. Global as well, so that's nice. Uh, let's jump into the next one. And uh, and uh, like I said, I've been trying to figure out who I was going to use. And I wanted to kind of focus a lot of these global characters initially. But uh, uh, next up, we're going to jump into a Cosmic one here. And uh, I think everyone's going to like this choice. It's Thanos. Uh, he's, pretty much, uh, he's pretty much Arena meta. Uh, he's war meta as well with the uh, bo teams for offense and defense it seems and of course shining in a lot of the other game modes and uh, no surprise there so level 80 uh pretty decent jump in stats as well but nothing crazy and uh, it'll be interesting to see what he looks like i know his he's he's honestly one of those characters that has a really strong um power naturally already even though i've only got him five reds he's he's got 131 and uh, as you guys see there it costs 25 palladiums uh, yeah, it's, it's a ton of resources, but we got enough here. We're going to bring him up to 15 as well because I've been keeping track of the materials for this. And uh, a little bit more expensive. Um, he's a 72 for the uh, for the tier 15 materials. And uh, yeah, we're going to bring him up and let's have a look here. Uh, let's see, jump in health. Ooh, that's actually a pretty nice jump. Uh, we got a little bit of a jump on damage as well. And I think the biggest one I'm seeing a lot right now is the uh, resistance, uh, which is good because uh, we like the resistance and it helps resist a lot of things especially in arena so that's it 141 638 uh, and as you guys see here he's pretty much t4 and uh fully maxed out as, as much as he can be so uh that's thanos and he's gonna help in arena as well uh next off we're gonna go off onto uh, uh a city character and uh i'm sure when i mention city i'm sure you guys know who it's gonna be uh, i think i think he's definitely on the more expensive side of things but uh i think people will agree with me here that uh, if people are doing raids they're doing uh, anything like that that's related to Dark Dimension as well. You got to have the Spider-Man symbiote. And uh, you got to have him here. Uh, we're going to level him up. I know a lot of people are trying to decide if they should or should not right away here. But he is a bile. And I'm trying to stick with my general theme. Trying to spread it across all my different fields with cosmic materials, mutant materials. And as you guys see here, uh, yeah, not pretty, pretty much uh, general consensus. Seems like it's a couple hundred. Uh, we are punching him up. Uh, a few more levels than the other two characters so a little bit of an increase in stats there and of course uh the thing that cost the most with symbiote spidey is the fact that those alien spores are so hard to obtain right now and you're gonna need a ton of them and uh and yeah like i said it's gonna be it's gonna be a journey for sure but uh we're we're not gonna uh, worry about that right now we're just gonna worry about getting them unlocked to tier 15 and that's what we're doing here so 123 554 and uh and yeah, let's have a look here. Let's have a look at his stats here. And that's, uh, let's see here. Health goes up quite a bit. Um, same with damage, armor. Um, and yeah, again, noticing the focus and the resistance goes up a pretty decent amount. Um, 
uh, and, and and that helps out because we're gonna need him in raids. We're gonna need him in dark dimension, and uh, and I think overall um, he's gonna be a really great character uh, moving forward. I know I know we got the new X Men team, and they've you know they're supposed to be a better raid team or something like that, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that. So that's it, guys. That's our first three right there, um, and now we gotta start getting into the other two, which we need as well. And uh, and I think you guys will agree with me here. This shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, we're gonna be bringing Ghost up. Uh, lots of people using. Uh, her in uh, Dark Dimension 4 and uh, she has convinced me. I've used her in Dark Dimension 3 plenty of times now and uh, I gotta say uh, she has definitely impressed me. Um, she's not exactly the strongest uh, one in the characters I'm leveling up here but uh, but yeah no decent amount jumped in stats and of course uh, um, the tech. The tech is gonna be the expensive one just like Symbiote Spidey and uh, she's a 72 72 on the uh, uh, tier 15 materials so definitely a more costly way to go but I think she's worth every penny because, uh, yeah, she's uh, she's bringing a lot to the table. The debuff extension and the uh, speed reduction as well uh, on the turn meter when she hits with her auto uh, or her single target. And she can double tap it as well. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, tier 15 there. And those are the stats. And uh, pretty excited here. So that's number four. And as you guys see here, she's also global. So it kind of helps piece together some starting lineup for the global characters. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, like I said, uh that re speed reduction is it's just such a good character i mean i should really t4 some of these up but uh we'll do that another time we'll do that another time well last but not least guys shouldn't be a surprise uh we're going with black widow we gotta level her up first as well same with uh the way we did with symbiote spidey and the reason why uh yeah the reason why i didn't really level up these guys earlier on is uh because um i you know i wasn't really using them so didn't really need to get them level up to, uh you know level up 80 or whatever but uh, now we are uh, pretty clear on what we're going to do, be doing with her. And, uh, and of course, you guys see here, she's she's not exactly tier 13 yet. So we're going to level her up instantly right now to, to the next rank. So that's, that's, you know, let's have a look at the stats. Um, pretty decent increase. And next, uh, we'll bring her up to uh, 14 as well. So now she'll be usable in uh, Dark Dimension uh, 3. So that's pretty nice. And uh, again, pretty pretty subtle jump as well in the stats, especially the resistance. You really notice the resistance jumping quite a bit. And now let's have a look here at, uh, I know the, um, uh, let's see if the, the tier 15 does anything. That's lots of uh, lots of materials. I forget what she uses. I think it's a shield tech or, or something like that. Um, but yeah, she's skilled. We've got to have a skilled character because we're trying to distribute our resources carefully here. And that's it. Uh, that, I think I don't know if that's a decent jump, but hey, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. And uh, she's 116 now, and of course uh, it was nice because I also T4 her uh, because she used to be meta. And now uh, we pretty much uh, let's favorite these guys so we can have a better look at them. And uh, we'll just favorite her. And now everybody's at the top of the screen here. So yeah, we got Black Widow, we got Ghost, we got Symbiote Spidey, we got Ghost, we got Sinister, and then of course we have Thanos. And that's my starting lineup, guys. That is my first five we will be using for Dark Dimension 4. And uh, and hopefully, hopefully this team uh, can give us a decent amount of uh, damage here. So that's our that's our starting five. And uh, now before I begin here, we'll uh, take a quick look here uh, at the uh, the other roster sizes. But uh, I just wanted to say that, uh, yeah, it's been a journey. And uh, yeah, we're finally, uh, we're finally here. We're gonna jump into my profile. You guys will see here, it's 9.5. Uh, yeah, definitely a smaller roster than uh, probably a lot of the guys that are competing right now in Dark Dimension 4, but that's that's expected. Uh, we're free to play, so that's, that's generally it's uh, you know expected. And now we kind of look through here in Dark Dimension 4. Uh, we can take we can take a look at the uh, the guys that are at the top here, and I mean, um, scroll down to the bottom, and I mean some of these guys like yeah, just massive massive pools of of. Uh, um, you know, massive, massive collection powers, and uh, we're we're definitely little uh, dolphins or little minnows, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're we're a fraction of these guys' powers, but uh, yeah, no, that's uh, that's uh, it's uh, you know, it's just a starting point for us, and uh, we'll probably get stuck on the global nodes since we only have three characters starting out anyways. But we're gonna do our best here. We're gonna do our best, and uh, 17 mil. Wow, some of these guys are just absolutely ridiculous, but. Yeah, anyways guys, uh, that's it uh, for this one. That's our starting lineup for the uh, Dark Dimension 4. And uh, I'll take you guys through it, uh, see how our first run goes, uh, especially as a free-to-play uh, sense. And uh, and hopefully it uh, gives you guys an idea. Um, I know it's lots of people have gotten into it, just don't really know how many free-to-play guys have. But hey, it's a start. And uh, hopefully the first of many more uh, free-to-play players to come 
uh, especially in this game mode. I know it's, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, it's probably gonna take a lot of time before we get all the right characters. Uh, that itself, I mean, all this farming has only gotten me five characters. But uh, we did get lucky with some of those pulls on those orbs. We got lucky with some of the events that have been going on. So that's been nice. Anyways, guys, that's all we got. Stay tuned for some Dark Dimension 4 gameplay. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.